Welcome back everybody to Pokemon Prism. We're currently on episode 16. So I did I did level up some of these Pokemon also just kind of make sure I didn't lose any more. Um, I also need to heal them up. Um, so I did get Electric up to level or uh, into a Manectric. Uh, I tried to get them all, you know, round about where they should be. Uh, so, Manectric, for some reason, learned Base Tremor. I don't know what that does. So, I'm not even going to look into it. Ability Lightning Rod. Jeremy learned Psychic and a move called Spring Buds. Don't know what that is either. Uh, Craig leveled up. Uh, Richter learned Flamethrower. So, I'm excited about that. Uh, Ari learned Sludge Bomb, and Zach didn't learn anything. So, hopefully... Uh, and I did, I did get a little bit extra money, uh, so I figured with the pickaxes that we have, or are able to get, we will, no, uh, we will go in here, try for, water stone! I don't need a water stone. Or, alright. Heart scale. Don't need a heart scale either. Don't no. I need a leaf stone. Cool. My mind is a level seven. Sunstone. All right, we're getting to more stones. Leaf stone. Leaf stone. Yes. I got it. All right, let's evolve this thing. Uh. I don't know what other moves it will learn, though. Like, it did just learn Spring Buds. What Spring Buds do? Just out of curiosity. Uh, has a chance of seeding the foe. What the hell's that mean? Oh, well. I'm evolving it. Awesome! Finally got Exeggutor. Holy hell. I gotta revive. Don't need that. Alright, I just I wanted to use the wrestle just to see if I would get a uh Oh wait. Don't I have items in here? Yeah, ignore those. Uh I honestly forgot they were in here. I got a pickaxe. Alright. So yeah, these, these stones I can sell. Yeah, just ignore those 75 rare candies in there. So, okay. Yeah, truth comes out. It sucks. Yeah, you know. But I mean... If you guys hadn't noticed already, because I mean, I did mention it back in episode 4. Ew, it was weird that I was using like a debug thing, like like this down here to do all that shit. Uh, so I've been trying to play fair as best as humanly possible. The only thing I've really been doing is uh, getting rare candies. And then whatever I like don't use, I try to sell it. Um, within reason. Uh, so... Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm trying to keep it right around the level cap. I'm not, I'm not going crazy with it. I'm not going to have everything maxed out to level 100. Call me a cheater. I don't care. But I mean, I'm not going to sit here for three, four days to grind something up when I could just give it rare candies and move on. I mean, take it for what it is. But... In the end, I still lost Pikachu, even after giving it the rare candies and everything. So, in the end, Pikachu still sucks. I'm still trying to play all the other items. I'm still trying to get all the other items, uh, legally. So I'm not... Like I said, rare candies is really the only thing I'm getting. 
just because I don't want to sit here and grind for three, four days on end, looking for some, you know, just trying to train up, you know. I want to get this series moving, just like everybody else does. So, if that's an issue, you know, sue me. Am I going the right way? Where the hell am I going? I guess I'm going the right way. Alright. And yeah, I still have a couple rare candies. Got a couple. We got some money. We got some. Picked up. Picked up some items. More healing items. But I mean, that's it. Weird that I started off an episode like that. <laughs> Stu oh, it's a steel type now. Shit. Oh. Yeah, weird that I started off episode 16 with, I'm a cheater. <laughs> I totally forgot. I'm 100% I'm, I'm honest. I totally forgot I had them rare candies in there. Yeah, I, I didn't even think about it. As soon as I opened it up, I'm like, ooh, I hope I didn't have any items, in, any illegal items in there. Sure enough, the rare candies popped right up. But like I said, if you didn't watch episode four, you know that was kind of a hint. That was kind of a hint how I was gonna be playing this whole whole game was just kind of level up by rare candy uh, off screen every now and then, just just to kind of stay ahead of the curve. I mean, look, this thing's level 37. I'm, I've bumped them all up to pretty much level 38 and 40. I mean, I think I'm... Oh, shit. I think I'm doing good so far in, uh, in keeping them right around that level cap. Because, I mean, I ain't gonna complain too bad about it. Arcanine. All right. Didn't I lose more than three Pokemon? I think I... I think I lost, like, two or three other ones. Yeah, and I sent them to the adoption. <laughs> I sent them to the adoption thing for, uh... To get, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Adopted. So I can... I was try I'm trying to get that Chikorita that's in there. But now it's like kind of too far gone. Um, yeah, maybe if we, maybe if I lose another Pokemon, I'll. Uh, uh, he who disobeyed his roots to strive for popularity as a self-proclaimed Pokemon master. Well, well, now all that will change. Your family has betrayed Naljo for the last time. Proud culture of Naljo will be awoken once again. All right. Um. Yeah, maybe if I lose another one, I'll just go ahead and... Oh, hold on. I'm still confused. Uh, why are we here? Why do we have to keep on wearing spandex? Again, this is not spandex, it's a traditional Naljo garb. As I've already told you, Andy, we have finally finished searching the region for the orbs of the Naljo Guardians. Once Varanus wakes up, Naljo will return to the paradise that our forefathers once experienced. Why is it just the three of us here? I heard one of the other guys got arrested. But what about the other two? They are also traitors. They viewed us as criminals who just want money and rare Pokemon. We're not Team Rocket. We just want outsiders to stop interfering with our almost forgotten culture. But they were trying to help us get money so we could cover even more ground. After all, the end just shut up. Money doesn't interest me. Money is part of what ruined Nausea. Yeah, I don't know if this is a good idea. I might have to keep this gig off my resume. You're gonna pay if you betray me too. <laughs> the world has no such thing as fire escape. Understood? You understand what I did to that Team Rocket who tried to steal my Pokemon before? Please, I'd like to forget all about that. Wait, that kid actually followed us back here. Why do you insist on staying in our way? This creature and his brethren are the key to knowledge's future safety. 
Uranus itself could bring the seas to a boil if it so desired. At last, the power to protect Naljo is within reach. Awaking from its slumber, still weakened from its long sleep, it'll be mine to catch. This embodiment of fire, war, and destruction, all mine. You're an idiot. There he is. Uh, you've been asleep for centuries. Naljo is in dire, dire need of you and the three other guardians. Naljo culture is vanishing, and Naljo descendants have given up your vision of old and accept foreigners with, an open, with open arms. Why would you attack me? I'm a descendant. My leg is broken. That is... What the hell? Bye. That Pokemon stole the other orbs. Officer, there they are. <laughs> Looks like we are able to finally track you guys down. We're, look we're locking you all up for good. Wait, where are the green and yellow ones? No matter, we're making progress. Hey kid, are you part of this group as well? No, officer. The fanatic in red has been plotting for years to wake up the protectors. You mean the ones from all the old stories? Indeed. But wait, why did Varanus attack them and not you? Wait a minute, you remind me of someone I saw on TV once. Wait, Lance is really your father, the legendary dragon trainer? Well, it all makes sense now. You seem confused. Let's return home and I'll explain everything to you. Agron. Uh, but yeah, before I continue with the story, uh, yeah, if I lose another Pokemon, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, do the, some kind of training thing on, you know, while I'm recording. That way, uh, you guys get to see exactly what I get to go through. Just, just for all that bullshit. So, uh, we're in a bad situation, and we need your help. You see, Lance is the reincarnation of the messenger. Who is the messenger? Well, allow me to start from the very beginning. Thousands of years ago, Naljo was an isolated region, which was the wish of the Guardians. Varanus created Naljo as an image of its own ideal environment, a desire to have community with a high-value system, where all humans and Pokemon were free from all the troubles brewing outside Naljo. Each Guardian was handed an island to rule over. While they ruled very differently, the agreement was that the rest of the world was not to interfere with the Naljo natives where instead of fighting over our differences, everyone would now work together to solve problems. The names of the Guardians were Varanus, Rayado, Libabo, Libabil, and Fembaco. Each Guardian held their own orb, which contained the very source of their powers. Of them, Rayado would watch down upon his area in order to ensure everyone was kept out of trouble. Fembaco who was a guardian of nature itself, ensured that areas of the region were off-limits to any intervention. It understood the necessity of using domestic Pokemon, and it appreciated the bond a human could develop with the Pokemon. Still, it wanted nature to run its course without any needless meddling. Libabeal, which is a weird name, uh, who was the most hostile out of all of them, Control the sea surrounding Naljo. Explorers who got close to the shore of Naljo would be unlikely to return home alive again. Finally, we have Varanus, which you encountered earlier. Back in the days when Varanus was walking the earth, outsiders foolish enough to come to our land ended up burning to and burned to ash by the mighty flames of Varanus. Uh, the ones choosing the brave path of fleeing from it would end up with charred scars of his hateful stare upon their backs. Not even Pokemon were safe from Varanus' wrath. The messenger had the responsibility to relay messages from the Guardians to the community. It was the only human that these legends trusted, or trusted, but the Guardians didn't tell him how they were slain, anything trying to enter the region. However, when he discovered this, he stole the powerful orbs and hid the orbs all over the region. Without the orbs, the Guardians were powerless and fell asleep for centuries to come. But once an orb gets close enough to a Guardian, it can harness its true power. Varanus is now awake, and it will surely awaken the other Guardians. The man in red foolishly believed that just being a descendant would tame the creature. However, you are the last known descendant of the Messenger. Well, besides your father, that is. Your father could indeed save us. However, your father doesn't realize the power he has over Naljo. He won't be able to handle it. He's too obsessed with his fame and fortune nowadays. There's no luring him out of that. As his lone child, you are Naljo's one hope in taming the Guardians for us. A lighthouse lies north, and a good friend of mine is watching over it. Perhaps he saw where Varanus went afterwards. Find a way to head up north. 
Okay. I'm the messenger. No. I'm the messenger, bitch. Finish this bridge. Okay, sounds legit. I'll need 20 brick pieces to prop up the dock from the bottom. Otherwise, it could break. There's a mark that sells them. I'm not so sure of where, though. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I have to get, get you some stupid bricks? God damn it. Alright, well, it's not that one. It's not the one down there. Let's try the Laurel City. Jesus Christ. Where's the bricks? Do you sell bricks? Okay, well, there's two people here. Uh, I have zero tokens. Um, I don't think that place had a village, or a, a mark. The big mark. Bricks. Bricks. No. Bricks. Just run around at each person yelling bricks. Bricks. No bricks. I hear the milk they sell here is made in a small farm in Jeddo. Okay, yeah, whatever. Bricks! Bricks! Bricks? No bricks. pieces. Are you kidding me? You stupid piece of shit. No, I gotta go back through all of that shit. Yeah, because the Pokemon Center is right there. Couldn't make a fast path to that, could we? I probably could fast travel there, that debug thing. Let's see how that thing works. Warp anywhere. No, I'm not... no. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. It'll probably warp me in the freaking water. I'll do it the legit way. The way God intended. Uh... Here we go. Hopefully this is... Nope, this ain't the right way. Alright, well. Well, that sucks. Yes, use another one. Oh. No, this looks familiar. Sorry, I got the hiccups. This bridge better be frickin' worth it. Uh, 
Uh, now I got a Pineco on this route. Here's your stupid bricks. Yeah, build the bridge, damn it. Uh, well, that's my workout for the week. I'm done. Bye. Yeah, see ya. Get the hell out of here. Cool. A damp rock. Uh, the city north is still developing. They saw this big piece of ocean and just said, Hey, why don't we build a city on that? <laughs> Alright. Sweet. No, I'm not ending the episode here. We still got like 10 minutes. Uh, my Eevee evolved into a Glaceon while training a car in the Glathrite Tunnel. However, my wife's Eevee involved, evolved into a Leafeon instead. But the theory I have is that we were in vastly different areas. <laughs> wow, another Aggron! It's like everybody has an Aggron, except for me. Until the gym leader showed up. She uses Gas-type Pokémon, and the foul odor is unpleasant. Kick her ass. Oh wait, I can fish here. I can get an encounter. Uh really? Nothing. Gimme something, damn it. There we go. Ow. Anything but magic carp. Ooh! Take it. A bite shouldn't kill it, right? Alright. No, I'll take Tanacruel. Shit. I no problem with it. Buddy, I'm trying to catch you. I mean, I, I don't know if you noticed. I'll name you uh there's no ampersand oh well PBJ You see the lighthouse there? The Guardians disallowed building it way back then. Who knows where they are now? Or if they're even still alive. Well, what's over here? Okay, not going to Route 68. Paralysis. Uh, what was this, for Thunder Wave? I got the TM for Thunder Wave. Well, there's the gym. I can fall asleep just staying here and staring at it. Your Pokemon can fall asleep too. With this. Oh, cool. I got Thunder Wave and Rest. There's the Mart. Cool, they got Max Revives. Or Max uh, Repels. I don't have any gold tokens, damn it. to the world. What the hell's that mean? Let's go to the lighthouse. Do I, can I get an encounter in the lighthouse? Hello. No blue sent you. Have I seen the knowledge of Guardian Varanus? Yes, I have. I'm a charger of this lighthouse and I see all. Varanus went to Saxifrage the hell saxifrage? The prison island in the southeast. It looks like it's going to awaken Fambaco. He's been sleeping there for centuries. It looks like you need help getting there. Yeah, thanks for surf. I thought I would get strength from, uh... 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 From what's-his-face? From Nobu. Let's get rid of Aqua Jet. I know it's fast, but I need a more powerful move. And I don't 
I personally don't think for alligator is a special eh, not too far off. Alright. So let's get the hell out of here. Take care of this prison shit. How many gym badges do I have? Five? I'm not getting twenty. Saxifrage Island. Can I go south of here? I'm sure I can, right? Oh, don't tell me I need this badge. <laughs> don't. Don't tell me I need this badge. Be kidding me. I need to get this badge. Well, I guess we'll step foot in it and see what we can find out. Uh, I think Jeremy might be able to take care of it. it is Ayaka. She specializes in gas type. To do refrain from breathing too much in here. Yeah, you're. Yeah, thanks. You know, most people would be like, "Hey, use these types of Pokemon." No, don't breathe in the poisonous gases. No. I just evolved him! Damn it! Cool, now I gotta find another. Damn it! Well, I guess now I can go get that Chikorita. I don't even know who to use here. Oops, I meant to use bite. What is going on? Well, I mean, he only did 34, so I'm not... Yeah, thanks! No, Jeremy was quad weak. I also thought he would be faster than Venomoth, which apparently he isn't. Thanks, Zach. I always knew I could count on you. Jesus Christ. Why does Weezing know that? Hit yourself! Okay. <laughs> all of that... All of that raising up. Just for it to look at me and give me the middle finger salute. I was so excited. Got it all the way up there, finally evolved it, was like, yeah, it's finally useful, and then I throw it out against a Venomoth, and it dies. Yeah, screw you, buddy. Well, since this is pretty much the end of the episode, let's, uh... Let's take care of some business here. Let's try and get this Chikorita, and then, uh, we'll do the Rare Candy thing. Rump, 
Which Pokemon would you like to donate? The dead one. Bye, Jeremy. Thanks for healing the rest of my Pokemon. Let me go get my Pikachu. Bye, Ronnie. Chikorita. Yes. Yes. I'll name you Derek. No, that's all I wanted. Alright, what is Derek now? He has the ability Overgrow, which I think that's sound about right. Right? Okay. Uh, so we're gonna get Derek up to the same level as all of them. Uh, so, let's go here. And get... 30 rare candies. There we go, I just received 30 rare candies. Even though I should've just grabbed whatever I had in the PC already. But, whatever. And... This is it. This is all the training I do. <laughs> yeah, you guys... You guys really aren't missing... Or really aren't missing much. I, li I like Bayleaf's little sprite. Look at that. No, I don't want to learn Safeguard. Well, hell, I didn't think I was going to be losing Pokemon in this episode. So, I mean... That is... That's extremely annoying. I'll be getting rid of barriers first chance I get. Flail! I'll teach Flail. I'm waiting for it to learn Body Slam. There we go, Derek's evolving. Way to go, Derek. Sprite's so cute! Spring Buds. Yeah, we'll get rid of Vine Whip, because Vine Whip has shitty experience too, or shitty uh, accuracy. It looks like Zim! Like when it's looking at you from the front like that? Look, it looks like Invader Zim! Oh, now, it's, now he's learning Body Slam. Alright. And that, that's it. I mean, you guys really aren't, aren't missing much else. <laughs> so I guess now we will head back. I guess we'll take on another gym leader. Well, no, it's pretty much not the end of the episode. All right, next episode we will continue on in this gym. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed finding out that I may or may not be a cheater, depending on how you're uh, going to take this. So, uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. 
Uh, I always look forward to reading any of your comments that, that you have or suggestions or, you know, whatever. So, uh, so yeah, I look forward to reading your comments. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you all in the next episode.